आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन गिवन इफ टेन थीटा प्लस अल्फा बाय ए इजिकल्स टू टेन थीटा प्लस बीटा बाय बी इजिकल्स टू टेन थीटा प्लस गामा बाय सी देन वी नीड टू प्रूव दैट ए प्लस बी अपॉन ए माइनस बी साइन स्क्वायर अल्फा माइनस बीटा प्लस बी प्लस सी अपॉन बी माइनस सी साइन स्क्वायर बीटा माइनस गामा प्लस सी प्लस ए सी माइनस ए डिवाइड बाय सी माइनस ए साइन स्क्वायर गामा माइनस अल्फा इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट वी नीड टू प्रूव राइट सो लेट्स डू दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम राइटिंग साइन ए प्लस बी अपॉन साइन ए माइनस बी वी आर यूज दिस आफ्टर सम टाइम दैट्स आई एम राइटिंग इट ओवर सो व्हाट इज साइन ए प्लस बी वी ऑलरेडी नो साइन ए कॉस बी प्लस कॉस ए साइन बी डिवाइड बाय साइन ए कॉस बी माइनस कॉस ए साइन बी साइन बी नाउ इफ वी डिवाइड दी अब टर्म एंड इन द नोमिनेटर टर्म एंड डिनोमिनेटर टर्म विद कॉस ए कॉस बी एंड कॉस ए कॉस बी राइट सो इट शुड नॉट अफेक्ट दी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एन इक्वेशन इट शुड नॉट डिस्ट्रॉय द बैलेंस और राइट So I am doing this. So if I divide cos a cos b this term, what will what will remain? Sin a upon cos a only. Here cos a cos a will cancel, so sin b upon cos b. Similarly in the denominator, sin a upon cos a minus sin b upon cos b. And we all know this is equals to tan a plus tan b, tan a, tan b. All right. So we can write sin a plus b upon sin a minus b is equal to tan a plus tan b upon tan a minus tan b. All right. We are gonna use this after some time, so that's why I'm marking it as. Equation one. Mark it as equation one. All right. Moving on. Now coming to the question. What is given? Tan theta plus alpha upon a is equal to tan theta plus beta upon b and tan theta plus gamma upon c. So I'm taking only this one and two. So tan theta plus alpha upon a. Is equal to tan theta plus beta upon b, right? All right. Now cross multiply or we can shift, not multiply, just shift it over here. Just rearrange it. So a upon b will be equal to tan theta plus alpha upon tan theta plus beta. All right. Now using Component and dividend. I'm just writing mark and dividend. All right. So we can say a plus b upon a minus b is equals to tan theta plus alpha plus tan theta plus beta divided by tan theta plus alpha minus tan theta plus beta now compare this one with equation 1 so tan a tan b upon tan a minus tan b so we can say this is a term this is b term a b so we can write instead of this sin a plus b and sin a minus b all right so here we can write sin a plus b if i add these two terms What will become two theta plus alpha plus beta in the denominator sine a minus b. 
So if I subtract these two, what will remain? Alpha minus beta. All right. This will be equal to a plus b upon a minus b. Now moving on. A plus b upon a minus b. I'm taking this sine alpha minus beta over here and multiplying one more sine alpha minus beta. Why I'm doing this? Because we need to prove this term a plus b upon a minus b sine square alpha minus beta. So here only we have one sine alpha minus beta, so we can multiply one as well. So this will become as sine square alpha minus beta. In the right hand side, it will become as sine two theta plus alpha plus beta sine alpha minus beta. All right. Now multiply and divide two in this equation. Why we are doing it? We are gonna use one property of cos c and d formula. So we know cos of c minus cos d is equals to two sine c plus d by two sine d minus c by two. So here two sine this term this term is available, so we can convert it into cos c minus cos d. All right. So this will become as one by two cos two theta plus two beta minus cos two theta plus two alpha, and this is equals to a plus b upon a minus b sine square. Alpha minus beta. Now understand this. Mark it as equation two, and this will be the similar case for every remaining thing. This is the first term which we needed to prove. This was the first term, right? A plus b upon a minus b sine square alpha minus beta. So there will be second term and third term. The answer will be the similar in similar pattern. So I'm directly writing the result of second and third terms. So. B plus C upon B minus C sine square L beta minus gamma, right? Beta minus gamma. So we can write as beta minus gamma will be equals to one by two cos of two theta plus two gamma minus Cos two theta plus two beta. Equation three. I will mark it later. C plus a upon C minus a sine square gamma minus alpha will be equal to one by two cos of two theta plus two alpha minus cos of two theta plus two gamma. Equation three and four. Now the final step. What we needed to prove? Uh, we need to prove the sum of it will be equal to zero. So if we add, adding equation two, three and four, what we will get? Our desired result. All right. That is, because these uh, plus term and minus term will get cancelled each other, will cancel each other. So we can write as a plus b upon a minus b sine square alpha minus beta plus b plus c upon b minus c sine square beta minus gamma plus c plus a c minus a sine square gamma minus alpha is equal to zero. And that we needed to prove. All right. Thank you. Class six to twelve से लेके NEET, IIT, JEE, mains और advanced के level तक दस million से ज़्यादा students का भरोसा. आज ही download करें doubt net app या WhatsApp कीजिए अपने doubts आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर.